What up guys, my name is Will. We're here with van number two. Recently did a van tour on my first van uh, not too long ago. And now I'm here in beautiful Bend, Oregon, uh, filming with the Trail and Summit crew to show you my newest creation on my 2013 uh, Mercedes Sprinter that I am now cruising around, doing an Icon road trip, hitting as many mountains as possible. And like I said, right now I'm in Bend, riding Bachelor for a few days, and thought we'd show you guys the new van. All right, so I really wanted to make a chill out area in this van, and I think with the two swivel seats uh, up in the front and a nice bench seat here, along with the lagoon mount table swivel, it creates a nice hangout chill area so I can entertain my guests, have some beers, have some food, relax, make it a little bit more homey vibe. You got some storage for cooktop, um, other things like boot dryers, shoes, all that kind of goodies. Um, there's an outlet with USB inputs under the table as well. And under the bench seat, I got a custom foam uh, little cushion here with extra storage for dry goods, all that kind of stuff. Um, up top here, kind of little bookshelf, open area for books, coffee, blankets, all that kind of goodies uh, and stuff there. The overhead storage above the driving and passenger seats, that's just kind of all for gear, for snowboarding and all that kind of stuff. Just kind of houses all my outerwear and, and other things there. All right, so for the kitchen area, I did another butcher's block. Uh, with this one, I stained it, sanded it down to give a little bit of a weathered look and did the epoxy resin uh, layer to give it a little extra protective layer and just kind of give it a little cool feel. Kind of looks like a little old school bar top, saloon top, which I really like. Uh, sink, soap setup, water pump on off switch. You also have a water heater that's connected to it so you can get yourself some hot water, and uh, which is a nice thing to have. Um, paper, paper towel holder, uh, more upper storage here for any dry goods, food, spices, all that good stuff. And as we venture down underneath the countertop here, we got DC fridge um, with a bunch of uh, drawers, soft closed drawers for, you know, all your storage and everything else you need. Under the sink here, garbage can, seven gallon gray water tank. Uh, for the time being, that's what I have. I'd like to have something mounted underneath the van, but this works for the time being. And as we get to the little head or toilet portion, um, I fitted this guy with a um, nature's head composting toilet. Thing is sweet. I've used it a lot more than I thought I would use and very happy I put it in. Uh, it's nice just to have the option and have the ease of a toilet right here. So I think it's pretty sweet. So for the bed, I got a custom full size mattress. Um, Really comfy, got it uh, made out in a company in the East Coast called Foam Factory. They really dial in uh, the mattress to whatever you want, dimensions, and it's a really comfy, cozy uh, mattress. And I uh, put a window on this one uh, to kind of create some airflow with the max air fan I have in as well. And just to have a nice little area to look out the window and enjoy your views if you're in some cool spots. Um, we got uh, reading light with USB as well as more USB inputs on the left side uh, of the van as well, so you can charge your phones, whatever, and have a nice reading light for when you're reading. Storage, I just kind of had some open storage for clothes and, and all that kind of stuff, just to make it easy to grab and go. Uh, really simple uh, and functional, and can store quite a bit of clothes. All right, so for this van, I really wanted to create more of a cabin feel, a warm, you know, I'm going to be cruising around the mountains, so I wanted to create something, yeah, that felt like I was in a cabin in the woods up in the mountains. So I use a lot of pine tongue and groove for the walls, um, as well as pine tongue and groove for the ceiling. And I just kind of did a clear coat stain. I thought it looked really cool, paired with the darker tones with the uh, black and the countertops that I did here. I think it just all kind of blends well and is a nice little warm vibe. And it's all insulated with polyiso foam board, um, foam board on the floors, polyiso on the walls, polyiso on the ceiling. And I also fitted it with a diesel S bar heater, which is a lifesaver, especially up in the mountains. It's just, I 
you can't go wrong with having that. It's just a nice dry heat, works really efficiently, doesn't draw much power, and they're just a really dialed heater uh, for up here. So stoked on that one. And for power, I went a little bigger with this one. So we got two 200 amp hour Renogy batteries and also 400 watts of solar. And I went with a 2000 watt inverter and still the DC to DC charger for the two ways of, of, of charging your batteries. And all the Renogy components that I have work really well. It's what I used in my last build. And they're just really dialed company and everything works really smooth and efficiently. And having the 400 amp hours of battery really dials in you know, a lot of juice and knows, and I know that I'm, you know, anywhere I go, I'm going to have enough power to sustain me for however long I need to. So it's a pretty good setup. So under the bed, I kind of put in a little secret compartment to store any valuables like computers, all that kind of stuff, camera gear. Uh, this is a little secret area to stash your goods. And underneath here, I have a little cubby uh, compartment to get into the back so you can, you know, interact with what's back here, store things back here, anything like that. Mm -hmm. I put two swivel seats in this one to create kind of more open flow and just to have more seating if I ever am entertaining, have a couple people over, and this just creates some more sitting area. When you have them both turned, it just kind of opens everything up. You can interact with what's going on and just creates a nice little area to hang out. For the back garage area here, uh, I wanted some nice open, big area to store anything from snowboards, uh, spear fishing gear, anything I really wanted, bins with extra things, um, a nice big water tank. I have a 32 gallon fresh water tank that sits over the wheel well. That's made by Northwest Conversions up in Bellingham. Really rad company, make dialed, dialed water tanks. I definitely recommend those. Um, with just the fill up right here and I have the uh, quick connect uh, shower hookup that's connected to the water heater and so you can get yourself a nice hot shower spray down anything I got a shower hookup and then also a spray uh, kind of just normal hose hookup as well uh, so you can get a little shower rinse off do all that good stuff and that's all connected to the two and a half gallon water heater uh, with a nice little plug right here so you can Heat up your water for the sink as well as the shower. So that's just a nice little thing to have a little bit more comforts of home, some hot water. You take it for granted for sure. Um, and then all the electrical components kind of sit in the back there with the batteries kind of tucked away, all nestled safely. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to have a nice area to store everything that I really need. I mean, I have most of my things. I'm on the road right now and still have a bunch of room for whatever else. All right, so this one has a nice setup for a tow hitch, if I do want to set that up, which is a really nice feature. These things do tow quite a bit, so having that option is always nice. I do want to get a tow hitch. And uh, I did put a nice ladder on the back here, made by uh, Industrial Ladders, Prime Design. And it just kind of sits right on the door frame, clamps down these rubber clamps, and they hold about 400 pounds. Really fits nice and secure good way for me to wipe the snow off the panels up on the roof and scrape the ice off and all that so it's a nice uh, nice feature that I think is a must-have for definitely if you're cruising around the mountains with the snow so also I hooked up some nice BF Goodrich all-terrain tires I think it's a must-have cruising around the mountains and it was a nice upgrade that I thought was a must-have I have some chains as well but these things grip really nicely and take care of me on the road cruising through the mountains. So for this van took me about two months working every day and some of the things I really like that I did differently than the other van is have a nice sitting area to entertain and hang out. I think that's just a nice little feature to have. Opens the van up a little bit. It is the 170 wheelbase so a little bit extra room as well which I really do like. For this van I really like that I made it into a cabiny type feel. I think it's just really warm and comfortable when I'm in the mountains. Uh, it just has a nice feel and flow with the darker tones and the cabinets and then a little bit lighter with the walls with the natural pine. I think it just flows nicely and just feels nice and warm and inviting and comfortable like a cabin. So I am cruising uh, on a big road trip doing the Icon Resort uh, journey. So I am cruising around in this van currently doing a big road trip on the northwest and western uh, regions of the states hitting as many icon resorts as possible so you guys can follow along as i cruise around in this van 
And my uh, Instagram will be in the link in the description below for you guys. So give that a follow and hope to see you guys on the road.